Isaiah chapter 6, a vision of a different God. Isaiah 6 is that striking chapter early in the book of Isaiah that tells of Isaiah's vision in the temple. And one of the key chapters that provide the pillars on which the book of Isaiah rests. It provides some of the really important ideas in the book and makes them clear, evident and visual. It's also one of those parts of the Bible that becomes clearer and sharper when we have some background information to help us understand it. It begins, Isaiah's account of this vision, an account probably written sometime after the event, looking back with the benefit of hindsight to sharpen things still further. It begins, in the year that King Uzziah died. Now, that beginning immediately puts us in the realm of politics. And a bit of background to that politics is to know something about the geopolitical situation of the little kingdom of Judah in the hill country of the Levant. That whole region, the Levant, uh, what we can now call Israel and up further north, Syria and so on, that whole region has been fought over since history began by the empires of the day. As this animated map from Maps of War makes quite clear. Now, the particular time in history in which Uzziah reigned was one that was favourable for the little kingdoms of the area. The two superpowers in Mesopotamia and Egypt were both relatively weak and were not in a position to exert their influence over this border region. As a result, the little kingdoms were able to flourish and because of the trade that passed through them were able to flourish economically as well as socially. And that was the context of Uzziah's long and prosperous reign. Very soon after Uzziah's death, things changed and Assyria began increasingly to assert its dominance in the West. Only six years after Uzziah's death, a pro-Assyrian party within Judah removed his son Jotham from the throne and placed Ahaz, Uzziah's grandson, on the throne in his father's place. From that moment on, the little hill country kingdom of Judah was never again to be independent. From that moment on, for the next 150 years, the king of Jerusalem, the king of Judah, was a subject of the king of Assyria sometimes obviously and officially so, and sometimes less obviously so, and occasionally, as with Hezekiah, a subject in rebellion against his overlord. But always the overlord of Judah was the king of kings, the king of Assyria. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord. Now, don't get it wrong. That Lord, in your Bible, your English Bible, is not spelt in capital letters. It's not God's name. Usually when you find Lord in capital letters, it's God's name, Yahweh, but not here. Here it's just the ordinary everyday word for a Lord, a boss, someone in charge. So what Isaiah is saying is that in the year that King Uzziah died, this turnabout year, this year when one age moved into another, when the age of independence became the age of subservience to the empire, in that year, I saw the boss. And he goes on to describe this boss in terms which are reminiscent of human kings and emperors. For this Lord is high and exalted. It becomes rapidly clear that he's not merely a human king or emperor. For the hem of his robe filled the temple and he has seraphs in attendance on him. But what's more striking still is what the seraphs call out. Holy, holy, holy. The word holy occurs quite often in the Bible. It means set apart, different. If you put the word together twice, it makes it very. But three times you don't find elsewhere in the Hebrew Bible. This thrice hagion, three times holy, suggests to us that this, this boss is different, is very different, is the third time absolutely different. And indeed that's one of the core messages of the book of Isaiah. This Lord, this boss, is 
absolutely different. Different from all human powers and kings, and that's one of the messages of the early part of the book of Isaiah. Different from all gods, and that's one of the key messages of the second part of the book of Isaiah. This God is not a God. This king is not a king. Holy, holy, holy is Yahweh of hosts. This time the Lord is in capital letters and is God's name. This boss is identified. This absolutely different boss is identified as Yahweh of hosts and the whole earth is full of his glory.